What up, what up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Fitness Tech Reviews, we have the Fitbit Inspire 3, the Fitbit Lux, and the Fitbit Charge 5. All these guys are around the same price point, but I really wanna let you guys know what the differences are between all these devices because they are extremely similar. But let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's quickly go through all the similarities between all three devices. They all have great sleep tracking and very good activity tracking where they have activity minutes. Of course, they're gonna be tracking your calories and your steps as well. They all do have connected GPS, even though the Charge 5 does have its own GPS built in. They all have cardio fitness scores. They have daily readiness scores, stress management, and smartphone notifications on all three. And all three do come with six months of premium membership for Fitbit. That's its whole entire different deal. I do have a link down below to give you an idea what Fitbit Premium is all about, but I'll get into that a little later in the video. They all have an AMOLED display that is pretty darn bright, pretty much the same across the board, and they all have Always On available as well, but things like the Fitbit Lux do need to be updated to get that Always On display available. They all have things like Find My Phone, Do Not Disturb, Sleep Modes, and all that, so there's no difference between all of that. Let's get into those differences. The first thing is gonna be battery life. The best battery life out of the three is actually the least expensive, is gonna be 10 days out of the Lux. You're going to get seven days out of the Charge 5, and you're only going to get five days out of the Fitbit Lux. The one thing with that is if you are going to be charging it while you are taking a shower or anything like that, going to the bathroom, any one of these devices can perpetually be used if you are going to be charging it for maybe about 10 to 20 minutes a day, so you're really not going to have to worry about that. But if you have no options to charge during your day, the Inspire 3 is going to give you your best battery life. Let's get into the differences between the Inspire 3 and the Lux. First thing is going to be how it is built. You do have more of a plastic case on the Inspire 3, while you have a stainless steel on the Lux, so it does feel a lot more sturdy. And not only that, you do have a different clasping mechanism with the actual band itself. With the Lux, I haven't heard too many bad things, just a really easy clasping mechanism. Gotta kinda press it in a little bit for it to snap back in. Whereas with the Inspire 3, it does have an easier design with a little bit of a lever like a typical watt. You do have a pretty much a capacitive squeeze on the Inspire 3 with these little sleek portions to the side that's gonna help you navigate the UI a little bit easier in my opinion. When you wanna go back on the Lux, you're gonna have to double tap the screen, which isn't always the most responsive, and if you're just squeezing here, no problem at all with the squeeze. Talking about that, I did get some accidental squeezes every so often on some high intensity workouts where it had a lot of wrist flexion where you're not gonna see that problem on the Lux. The Lux is a tad bit slimmer in design. You'll see that right here in the B-roll, but it actually is a tad bit heavier at 26 grams where the Inspire 3 is 21 grams. So it's gonna be a little lighter on the Inspire 3. Other than that and the battery life pretty much being halved on the Lux, I think it's because it's a little bit slimmer. They're pretty much the exact same device. With the charger, you do have a magnetic charger with the Lux. I am a bigger fan of the magnetic charger it's the same exact charger actually for the charge five we're gonna have a clip-on charger with the inspire 3 it is actually a little bit different than the inspire 2 even though they feel pretty much exactly the same the inspire 2 will not clip on to the inspire 3 the inspire 3 is currently at about a hundred dollars and the Lux is 130 the Lux has gone on sale to $99 every so often so if you're catching it on sale between the two I'd pick the Lux. It is a more well-built design, a little bit more sturdy, and there's a lot of different options as far as the colors are concerned. If none of that bothers you, the Inspire 3 is also a great band, even though it might feel a little cheaper. The squeeze functionality and move in the UI is gonna make it a little bit more intuitive and easier to move around, but the screens are pretty much the exact same size on both. Since they are the exact same size on both, since the Inspire 3 is a little bit bigger, it will seem to feel a little bit cheaper since there are going to be bigger bezels. All right, we went through the Inspire and the Lux. What is the difference between the Charge 5? The Charge 5 does have a built-in GPS. It does have seven days of battery life, and it does have the same charger as the Lux. You are going to have a bigger screen built in. It is AMOLED, and you are going to have a bigger display on the Charge 5 at 1.04 inches, where it's only 0.76 on both the Lux and the Inspire 3. Even though they haven't officially announced the dimensions of the Inspire 3, they pre pretty much look exactly the same in my eyes. 
It does come with an aluminum grade case, and even though it does have these metal portions on the side, it is not squeeze functionality. That's for its EDA and ECG scans for stress levels and things like checking for AFib. You do not get either one of those on either the Lux or the Inspire 3. And of course, it has its built-in GPS. I have heard troubles with the GPS built-in if it's a little too tight, and then the GPS doesn't function as it typically would. I didn't run into that problem myself. The GPS worked fairly good in my testing. You are also gonna get NFC payment through Fitbit Pay. So if you are looking for quick wireless payment, you do get on the Charge 5, you do not get it on either one of the Inspire or the Luxes. It does come in at the most expensive at 150 with the Charge 5. I've seen it on sale as low as at about 120, but I don't think you're gonna be seeing it much lower than that. We did talk about the Fitbit Premium, six month you get with all three of these devices. Uh, with that, you do get things like readiness score, which I think is actually improving. I wasn't too happy when it was first announced, but you even get some better sleep analysis and you get some extra workouts built in if you need to do at home workouts and you even have some recipes built into the app itself as well. But after that six months, you will need to pay for a lot of that functionality. It's either $9.99 a month or $80 within a year, which I'm not very happy about. You will not get the readiness score if you do not have premium. You won't get better sleep analysis. You will get seven days tracking of things like your sleep scores, your HRV and stuff like that, but you will not see anything farther than seven days. So it will be a little bit harder to track trends if you do not have premium. And I've never really been a big fan of Fitbit for doing that. One of my overall recommendations between these three devices, the Inspire 3 is a great device. Don't get me wrong, $100. This is your best bang for your buck, 10 days of battery life. But it also is the cheapest of design with a plastic build. So you might not get the best durability out of it, but it does have that capacitive squeeze that I think is a lot easier to navigate the UI than the other two devices. So if you're thinking about the Inspire 3, I definitely think you should go that route. If you're thinking in between the Lux and the Inspire, the only thing the Lux really has is its higher build quality. It only comes in at five days of battery life, but since it does have pretty much the same screen, but it it has a smaller form factor. It does look a little nicer, not as big as bezels as the Inspire 3. And of course, with the Lux, they even have the shinier versions as well. So if you need something to dress it up a little bit more, I'd go with the Lux. With the charge, there are so many benefits. You get a bigger screen, so it's gonna be easier to check out your paces on runs when you need to look down. It's gonna be easier to check your distances, all your statistics, and easier to look at the UI with that bigger screen. And also you have the built-in GPS. You have EDA scans for stress management and ECG scans for AFIS. So you do get a lot of bang for your buck with the Charge 5. I mean, there were some problems with the built-in GPS, but you can use the connected GPS if you can have your phone on you, and you're gonna get your phone's GPS, which is typically always very accurate. So if you're looking for the bigger screen, or a built-in GPS, or NFC payment, be a little bit more smartwatch featured, you wanna go with the Charge 5. Well, hopefully this video answered all the questions that you had. If it did, please smash that like button. It's gonna help with the YouTube algorithm to push it out to more people. If you really enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification, bell so be one of the first ones to know when my newest videos comes out. I am going to be getting the Fitbit Sense 2 that should be coming in within the next couple days and I am going to be doing a review on that and all the different Fitbit devices as well. If you want to purchase any of these devices I will be linking them down below. It's going to shoot you to Amazon and a little bit of that purchase is going to help me grow my channel. But as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay positive. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.